Man, today was a crazy day, man. We had a good week and we had a load going from Houston to, to uh, Mariana, Florida. And then we had a load going from uh, Tallahassee to um, Rome, Georgia. And that load, man, that load from hell. And, um, well, you know, it's not too bad, but it's it's pretty bad. So, they I picked up plastic bottles, which had bugs in it. And, um, but first, the, the guy was unloading it, man, he tore the trailer up. Like, he put holes and he shredded the metal plates in there. And, um, so, after he got done, and he unloaded it, like, record time, 15 minutes. And I could hear the metal screaming and all that. And I'm like, oh man, well, you know, maybe it's not too bad, you know. And um, so he unloaded it. I pulled out and went in there to blow all the, 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 you know, whatever dust or whatever's in there. And there's like bugs everywhere, man. There's like, I got like these things that look like roly polies. There's flies. So, but the holes, I told, I called the manager, told him, and he got a supervisor out there, and they both, um, they looked at it, and they asked me, they're like, who unloaded it? And I told them what guy did it. He said, that's the second time today. And um, so he told me, I was like, okay, let's document everything, and let's just look at everything. And... Um, he told me he said well he said give me he said just take it somewhere and send me the invoice so so um, they're gonna fix that but then I, I was like he was like I told him I was like, I gotta go to coca-cola and he was like man coca-cola is not gonna load that and he said if they're anything like us those bugs he said they're not gonna load it and I asked him you got a place to wash it out so <laughs> man we had to go up to um, 30 miles down the street to a washout and the guy he started washing it out one, and one of the guys started washing it out and then the owner came in he's like oh you got bugs and he is like man he's like you're gonna need something like bleach or fabuloso or something and he was like he said take my pickup truck and um, go to go to the Dollar General get some bottles of bleach and uh, bring him back. You know, he said he's like he's like bring, come back, and then we'll we'll clean it out. So he used uh, like one and a half bottles of bleach, put it everywhere, and it killed it killed all the bugs. Well, I've seen after he what we did, we put the bleach. He said he said he's done it before. He said guys that come and they ha they hauled like uh, plants and stuff, or you know just things that where they have bugs. And um, so he put the bleach, closed the door, and you can see it, the bugs, as soon as the, you know, the roly polies, the, they touched that bleach and they just, they were gone. They, like it, it knocked the wind out of them. But, um, so we, we put the bleach, or he put the bleach, closed the doors, and then um, we let it sit. And then, you know, it's evaporating, the vapors and everything. So pretty much, um, it was killing them and then came back opened the doors he put on a special you know mask and everything so he doesn't destroy his uh, respiratory system and uh, his lungs and you know everything but sprayed them all out I seen one maggot and I seen one cockroach I was able to kill both of them but I was like nah I'm not gonna I'm not gonna chance it so I told the broker I was like Turn right I was like, eh, I'm not gonna do that Coca-Cola load. He knew already. Like before, when I when I had the damage, I called him up, told him, hey, he's like, we got this going on. Told him about the bugs. He was like, oh yeah, yeah. He was like, you know, I told him I was gonna get it washed out. He's like, yeah, send me the receipt and I'll get you reimbursed. Real nice guy. My, that's my guy. Like, like he's he's a good agent. But um, so and then I told him, yeah, I'm not gonna do the load. So, oh, what do we got? We got road construction, right lane closed. So, um, 
told him, yeah, I'm not gonna do that load. So, canceled that one, and I'm just dead heading back now. Oh, we got somebody creeping up. Creep, 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 creep. So, going to, um, just dead heading home. So, it was crazy, man. Crazy. That was a that was a low from hell. I'm a blacklist that, blacklist that receiver and the, the shipper too. If you don't want to go, don't go. She had to take a spoonful of her whatever's in her cup Turn right before she went. Traffic light. It's crazy, man. But you know, it's it's all how you deal with it. Like I was nice. Never, never got upset and everything. And the guy was like, oh, I'm sorry. I gotta, I mean, I gotta get over. I gotta make that right turn. I gotta make sure I, I clear those cones. But um, I was just nice about it. Try to be professional. Told him I was the owner of the company and you know, so he, they were real nice and sent the bill. The only bad thing is I got a deadhead back, but that claim, man, that claim, it, it, it could turn into me trying to save some fuel money, which I'm getting like 8.8 .8 miles per gallon right now, empty. And should should do around eight, I should be able to get with whatever fuel I have left, so I, I really won't lose too much. But man, if they find one cockroach at Coca-Cola and they refuse that whole load, man. Then it's then it's over, like game over. Like we got a claim on our insurance. One second, let me let me concentrate on this. Clear, clear, clear. That truck's waiting for me. Georgia, no, we're in Alabama. We just left uh, Rome, Georgia, and we cut across. What was it, the six? Now we're on the we got on the 411, and uh, we're gonna hook up to the what was it, 59, 69, 85, one of those. Go through Birmingham, then go back home. But yeah, they found one cockroach, got claimed, they refused the load, and no good. So. We made a we made a good decision by just uh, taking that taking the loss, make a little bit of less profit this week. But at least we're gonna get new walls. You know, I have some of the, some of the walls that he damaged. The bottom parts were a little messed up, so they would stick out. So you know that we're gonna get new walls, and I'm pretty sure those walls aren't cheap. And so kind of get making money off of it. You know, because. I, I've been thinking about replacing them and that's a good way to look at it, right? Because What's up? What's up? So we got the we got everything back A trip sucked man So they put the holes in this trailer And uh, I got my other trailer good thing I bought two man. I was I, you know I was planning on growing and adding somebody on but um, it's my spare but this trailer, they're identical, same year, same everything. I bought them from uh, another company, and they had they had a lot of them, like 30 of them. But those skirts, man, big time. They like, I was getting nine miles per gallon, empty, but empty. I've never even seen that. Like, but on the way to um, to, to, to Meridian, Florida, from Houston, I was getting 8.4. So let me show you guys. Let me show you guys what the, they did over there. Let me open this thing up. Yeah, 
yeah this this trailer is good it just the tires this one has 24.5 so i got a 24.5 spare nothing for the tractor this one i got a 22.5 everything matches and these are double coins all right those, those are decent uh, chinese tires but that that came with it this trailer had had recaps with three virgin that one had all virgin except for one so let me open the other door all virgin except for one so i put new michelins on this one 22.5 wheels but um let's, let's start in the back Is that my flashlight yeah i do so they put this right here if i see it better without the flashlight or maybe not yeah right here just just some dents i told them i'm not too worried about that as long as it won't snag any pallets or scratch anything and then this one right here went through and you know that that one's it's not too bad but i'm gonna replace it because it might snag a pallet on the way in way out then i got other issues or somebody you know somebody might be picky and be like hey i'm, I'm rejecting that I'm rejecting this trailer this one's pretty bad though you see that this one already had the damage on the bottom you know just just uh people snagging it i, I wanted to replace it but it's kind of kind of get it happen to that one because that one sticks out more than any of the other ones that one and this one jacked it up man so this one too that little piece i'm gonna i'm gonna swap out both panels the guys were very nice they said um they said the his second incident today new guy i felt i feel bad because man he's new and man he, he it, you know he has to support himself his family or whatever he has he has to support it so it's, it's actually sad this one too but look at it, it it comes out that one's pretty bad too and uh i think that's it for the right side this one right here this one you can see where he picked up his fork and boom but man they, that guy having a bad day nothing on the roof i checked in uh nothing on the roof but You know, the saddest thing is that um, that was the second incident. Oh, sorry about the lighting, guys. Second incident, so man, that that, that actually sucks more. Second second incident of the, of the day. And then when um, I was talking to them, they, they, they said they can't unload the next truck because it's missing a bolt. Guess where the bolt got messed up at in the on the trailer, so. All right, let's get out of here. But oh, there's another one right here. Right there. That panel right there. Two little holes. I'm gonna change that one too. But he said they, they were real nice. He told me sorry about, you know, they, they said sorry about this and that um, we'll take care of it. Don't worry. And um, he told me, man, you guys do this? You guys close trailers? You guys have been in the game for no for a while, but always look up there because man, I, if it doesn't go in and you close this part and you lock it, doesn't matter. You lock it, you latch all this stuff right. You don't put, make that top one go in, and it's sticking on top, and that door open, it'll vibrate loose. But um, so don't worry about. It. We'll take care of it. Just invoice us. So I'm gonna take it to. Um, I already got my my whole week booked out. So it looks like I'll have a gap because I'm going to just run regional this week. I'm going to do Louisiana, Oklahoma, and Texas. I got, I got um, five different loads. So probably Tuesday, I'm going to come back from Louisiana and I'll have time. I got an HEB that night, but I pick up it in the morning. But um, pick up in the morning and deliver 9 30 or 8 30 at night but uh, i'm gonna have time to uh to uh drop this trailer here take that one to either utility or another one that i use but that guy said he said four months but i'm gonna talk to him again see see 
if that's true or if they cha it changed and this is last week i called so maybe they got some stuff done but uh we just washed the truck i got i bought a pressure washer got all that stuff in the trunk and they got a they got a water hookup over there so i you can see my my tire marks right there from leaving there but but we just washed everything everything looks real real nice and real clean i just saved some money by doing that but she looks good looks good yeah but everything's going good if that if i didn't have that spare trailer though man we we would be in trouble because the downtime just for that and we're not getting insurance involved so we're just they're just taking care of it so i'm not going to try to kill them with all these extra charges even though you know it'd be good if they throw something else i'm thinking about it thinking about seeing if they could throw anything else in there but um see what they say but yeah she, she did good man with those skirts probably make a separate video on on the skirts and everything and how, how you how they're installed and everything but all right well hope you guys like the video if you haven't already like and subscribe and let me know what you guys think all right guys you guys be safe